This video is brought to you by having no eyelashes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi! My name is Zaria Smith and I typically make commentary videos just like this one. So if you guys like that or you just happen to love my beautiful face, make sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell get notified every single time I post, which happens to be on Mondays and on Fridays. And if you're watching this one, I upload this, happy Friday! How are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing and great. So I'm going to be giving you guys my opinions about Kissing Booth 2. And this video is brought to you by a loving subscriber that I have um, named Rigo. I'm going to put a... He, he's so sweet and so nice and he always likes all of my tweets. So if you want to suggest me any videos, make sure to follow me on Instagram or follow me on Twitter. I'm always tweeting and posting stuff on my story for you guys to interact with my content because I love talking to you guys. Um, so let's get into my opinions about Kissing Boop 2. Um, yeah. So I watched Kissing Booth. I told myself that I wasn't going to watch it because the first one was such a mess. But I was like, I'm not going to watch Kissing Booth 2. I think that's ridiculous. There's no point in watching this movie. It's going to be the same thing. And then I'm going to get aggravated. Well, I watched it um, at 4 a.m. as you do. And I have a few thoughts um, about this movie. Was it bad? No. But was it good? No. Um, so I'm going to get into the characters, um, which is what I always do in my little TV movie reviews. So we'll move to the to the side so we have room for them. But first character we're talking about is Elle Evans. Now Elle, she's a character. Um, I think that definitely throughout the first movie, she annoyed me. Um, Second movie, it wasn't more so that she annoyed me, but it was just like, I've been her. Well, my thing, my main issue with Elle in this movie is that she cheated on Noah. And I understand that Noah cheated on his last girlfriend. But you, if he's telling you the truth and the girl is telling you nothing happened, move on. If something happens, you'll find out eventually. Um... But that's my thing about Elle. She just kind of like annoyed me, honestly. Like I hated like watching her. But Joey King, Joey King is a really great actress and I enjoy her Instagram a lot. So next we have Lee. Now Lee and Elle have such a toxic friendship. It is on a whole new level. Um, I understand wanting to spend all your time with your best friend, especially if your boyfriend is gone. But oh my gosh, like... Rachel is wrong too and I'm gonna get into her. <laughs> I don't know why I'm pointing so much. Rachel is wrong too but the whole Lee, Elle, Rachel thing, their friendship was just toxic. Um, but Lee, just he cares. Like Lee is just like a like a teddy bear character. He's like the character that everyone's like supposed to like I guess. Um, he's nice, he's sweet. Um, it seems like he cares about his girlfriend. I think he just gets swept up in everything that's happening. Um, yeah, I don't know. He just seemed like there. Next we have Noah. Jacob Eli Eliori, you don't know how to pronounce his last name. He was trending on Twitter when Kissing Booth 2 came out um, because he literally had to go from playing Nate Jacobs to playing Noah Flynn, which I would have hated. Now I can make a whole video on Euphoria if you guys want that. So comment down below if you want me to do a video on Euphoria. But I would hate having to go from playing such a complex character to happen to play Noah Flynn. Um, <laughs> and he was wrong for spending all this time with Chloe and then lying about it to Elle, which is the worst possible thing that you can do. And I understand it's because he wanted to make her feel better, but making her feel better would just be not hanging out with her all the time. It's all the problem. Chloe, I hate whenever TV shows bring in black women and then make them the villain of the movie which is what happened in this case um i have a video about black women in media that's coming out on monday and you guys are gonna see it but um i didn't like that chloe was portrayed as the villain i did not like that one bit um but chloe was wrong for what she did and if you think that she didn't put that earring there on purpose you're wrong she put that she put the earring there on purpose she seemed like so like fake 
like oh women like oh supporting women or whatever and like in the end she was like oh he never cheated on you or whatever but like i wouldn't be shocked if they were cheating but in another sense they're also making the one black character seem like a bad person and i honestly hate that so now we have marco he was cute um entertaining to watch but it it was very obvious that he was just home wrecking but regardless he and I think that Lee was very like complicit because he knew that like Marco was attractive he knew how Elle was talking about her and yet he put Marco and Elle spending all this time together like it makes no sense to me um Rachel I hate Rachel I really do because I understand her perspective but she was just so jealous and so like overwhelmed like and it's like I understand completely but it's like the way that she went about it was just not it and the fact that Lee lied to her and then made her think that she was crazy didn't like that either um but I just didn't really like Rachel she seemed very like forgettable and even like in the neck like I watched Kissing Booth the first one and the second one I literally forgot Rachel existed because like that's how forgettable she is but the actress is so sweet and like so pretty and like so great those are the characters, or at least the ones that I care about. There are more characters than that, definitely. Um, <laughs> I'm just being so mean today. But let's now talk about the plot of the movie, which the plot of the movie was dumb. It was cohesive. I just finished a screenwriting class. I know how to write movies now. I'm practically an expert, not really. Um, but I, you know, generally, I understood the script. I got it. It made sense. Maybe it's because like I'm like approaching not being a teenager anymore. Guys, I'm turning 19 next month and I've been like putting it in the back of my head, but like it's gonna be, it's gonna be my last year of being a teenager. What am I gonna do? Have responsibilities? Pay taxes? I actually already did that. Cause pay your taxes. <laughs> but I, you know, I just, ugh. The thing about movies is that you should be able to tell what the A plot is, the B plot is, or the C plot. For me, I couldn't tell which like plot was truly the main plot because you would say, oh, it's the dance dance um, revolution or whatever it is, um, competition. That's the main plot, right? But then I would think that the main plot was her, was Noah, the Noah and cheating thing. But I thought that was going to be the main plot and then the dancing was just going to be a side plot. But then also the plot about Lee and Rachel was pretty like important. So, I, but that's probably the C plot because there wasn't a lot about it. All I'm saying is there's not a very distinct difference between the A plot and the B plot of this movie. They could literally be switched and I wouldn't know. Um, which it's important to like have like a main story arc and then have your other arcs. Cause like that makes the story more cohesive. At least it's what I learned in my screenwriting class. I'm practically the director. But also a main thing that like annoyed me about this was the cheating. Um, because as a person who was attempting a long distance relationship when it came to college, um, cheating never was an issue. Like I, I was never worried about that, but I can understand like being scared of being cheated on by a significant other when you're in high school and they're in college. Um, and then the fact that at least in the movie it says that he never cheated on her she cheated on him on national television um and he took her back obviously you know it was just one kiss like whatever but it's like we shouldn't advertise to people that it's okay to cheat maybe that's just me because i don't vibe with cheaters um at all but my thing is like, why would you, you know, tell a teenage girl watching that who's like maybe like 12 or whatever, telling her, oh, if you cheat on your boyfriend, that's okay. Because if it's meant to be, he'll come back to you. Like, no, if, if a person cheats on me once, they're done. You can quote me on that too. Um, but <laughs> this video is getting long. Um, that's my opinion. My opinions on Kissing Booth is just that it didn't really have a distinctive message to give and ended on a cliffhanger because they filmed Kissing Booth 3 right after filming Kissing Booth 2. I don't know when they're going to release that though they didn't say but it felt like almost like the first part like like I watched like I watched part one to a movie like I feel like I didn't like watch a 
like a cohesive movie, if that makes sense. That's my opinions on Kissing Booth um, and the characters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps small channels like mine. I would love to get to 400 subscribers by my birthday, which is August 20th. It would be such a great birthday gift for me if I reached that goal. Um, so if you want to, you know, wish me happy birthday, make sure to subscribe down below. Um, and make sure to stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. And I think to myself, what a wonderful